Hey, welcome back everyone, General Tony here, coming back with a second episode of the day. So loads of you have been asking me to do some more gemming on the channel. You want to see some more of the new update features gem to max level. And that, my friends, is exactly what we're going to be doing inside of this episode. So the first thing we're going to need to do is buy ourselves, of course, some of those little green diamonds. And I'm going to buy at least $100 in this episode, but it's likely we're going to spend more than that. Now, what you guys have been asking, for some strange reason, so many of you want me to upgrade the Expos from level 4 to level 5. I think it's because they look so awesome at level 5, so that's what we're going to do. I'm not sure if I'm going to gem all four of them, otherwise, apart from the Mortars, there is no way I'm gemming the Mortars, because it's not really worth it. I don't want to gem all of the Expos, because then I'll be bored and I won't really have anything to farm apart from walls. So we're going to gem maybe one or two of them, and then we'll see what else we can gem. So let's just collect the rest of this loot, then we're going to buy ourselves, of course, $99.99 worth of gems, guys. So here we go, we're going to go straight into the shop, and we're going to purchase ourselves 14,000 gems. So there we go, we just purchased $99.99. Do not forget, if you want to get yourself some free gems, you can use the link in the description box down below, which is going to take you over to a site, and you will get some free points just for using that code, guys. So if you want to get free gems, use the first link down below. So we've got 14,467 gems. We've got 130k Dark Elixir. I'm also kind of thinking to maybe upgrade the king to the next level. That's on that's my mind. So we've got the king... We got the Queen, we got the Grand Warden. We do have the ability to upgrade the uh, the Bomb Tower. One is already gemmed to max level, so I don't think I'm going to gem the second one. We can gem some of the Expos. Maybe one Mortar. We got Walls. We got a few new traps to gem, guys. And we also got two of those brand new Tesla Towers left to max out to level 9. So that, that's pretty much it. Oh, and yes, I do realize loads of you keep commenting. You keep saying, Tony, can you please max out your barracks? I need to gem these three barracks one more level. We may gem them, actually, inside of this episode. So let's start this off. We're going to purchase one of these new expos. So it's going to cost 9.5 million gold. We may as well go into the treasury and just completely max out the gold storage. 2,671 gems later, and we've got ourselves 10 million gold. So we're also going to fill up the elixir storage, so we're going to fill that to max as well. That should cost us a little bit less, 1600, and you know what? Let's just go for the uh, the full three glorious, glorious, uh, what is it, the storages, guys. We're going to fill out the dark elixir as well. Now, I know this is the expensive one, 2193 gems, pretty damn expensive. Should we do that? Well, we'll leave that for now, and I may do that in a second. The reason why I don't know if I want to do that yet, because I don't know if we are going to be upgrading the actual king to the next level. So with this expo, that is what it currently looks like, guys. Level 4 expo, 9.5 million gold. I think this is... I think this and the Eagle Artillery are the, now the, uh, the two most expensive defenses. I can't remember how much it costs to actually upgrade the Inferno Tower to level 4. I think it was 9 million. I'm not too sure. Let me know down below. Don't forget, if you do like these types of episodes, then please drop a like on this video just to show some support to the channel. So the Expo, going to the uh, the level 5, of course, we're not going to wait. Let's see what this new level 5 Expo looks like. Let's just click off of it, zoom in, and check that out. Now, I'm not going to lie. That is the most bad-looking defense in the game. That looks so awesome. It looks so evil, so edgy, so rough. It just looks like it can do some serious damage. Now, this is what I'm going to tell you guys. We have a, we currently have two of those new level 9 Teslas, and I'm actually about to upgrade the second Expo, so we're going to have two maxed out Teslas, two maxed out Expos, and I'm thinking about making a really good troll base, maybe the best troll base I've ever made on the channel. Now what the troll base is going to be, it's going to be based around the new defenses, so the new Expos, the new Bomb Towers, and the new Teslas. If you want to see one of the best troll bases that I can make, guys, go down below in that comment section and just comment hashtag troll base. I'm going to spend, honestly, maybe two or three hours later on tonight, once I've finished editing the videos, making a couple of troll bases inside of my actual base. And I'm going to pick one of them, or I'll show you them, and then I'll let you guys decide tomorrow. So if you want to see that, comment hashtag troll base. So we also got 10 million elixir. Now, the only things we can upgrade with elixir, I'm kind of feeling, I'm not going to lie to you, to upgrade the Grand Warden. He's flying around there. Sit down, Grand Warden. There we go. So the Grand Warden's currently level 11, and I do not like even numbers. I want him to be on an, uh, sorry, I do not like odd numbers. I want him to be on an even number. So he's currently on level 11. Maybe we should gem him to level 14. So hold on a second, Grand Warden. You may be the, uh, the star of the show in a second. So we got maxed out Archer Towers, maxed out Wizard Towers, Cannons. Air defenses, air sweepers, 
The air bombs are currently all max level. I believe the air mines can all be upgraded, but I don't really want to upgrade the air mines. So we've upgraded the, uh, the spring traps to max level. Big bombs also still need upgrading. Let's go into the research center. The only thing we've got in here to upgrade is the haste spell and the, uh, the earthquake spell. Not really too serious. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We've currently got 130,000 Dark Elixir, so we're going to fill out the Dark Elixir storage. We may as well do this. Into the treasury, it's going to cost something like 2,100 gems. We're also going to get a screenshot of that, guys, because I have not had a maxed out Dark Elixir storage for at least 8 to 12 weeks now. And, of course, there's only one thing to do. I mean, the Barbarian King, he's level 32. We're going to have to start moving him towards the next level ability. So there we go. Level 20, what is that? Level 32, 999 gems. And he is currently level 33. So the Barbarian King has just got a boost. And it's only fair that we give the Grand Warden a boost. So the Grand Warden currently level 11. He doesn't even go to sleep. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Now he's sleeping. 814 gems later. And we have a level 12 Grand Warden. So what I've got left to do inside of the base, we still have quite a few gems. And we do have the option to actually, uh, you know, gem another expo. But I'm not really feeling to waste this many gems, guys. So we got one expo. At level 5, I think I'm going to farm the rest of them because if I gem them, it's just going to get so boring for you guys and of course myself. More importantly guys, if I want to make in episodes that I really enjoy, I can't really go ahead and gem everything on the channel because it will just be so damn boring. And for those of you that are new around here, no, I am not a dirty gemmer. Yes, I do buy gems, but I still have just under a 1.2 billion gold grab. And trust me when I say that is a lot of gold. So what we're going to do now, we're just going to have a quick recap. I think I'm going to keep these 4,000 gems. We may do a super gemming episode, maybe next Friday. And inside of that episode, I think I'm going to gem the Barbarian King to level 35. We may farm him one level during the week. And then the Grand Warden, he just needs to get maxed out really. Maybe to level 15. The Queen is currently level 35. So we're going to keep the Queen at 35 until the Grand Warden is 15. And until the Barbarian King is 35. Then we're going to push the Queen to level 40, I think. And then the Barbarian King will follow once we've maxed out the Queen. During the week, I'm going to max out these walls here. They are going to all go to level 10. Because every single wall in the base was level 10 just before the update. I've also got to max out the new Bomb Tower. One is max level. We've got to upgrade the, uh, the final Tesla. That one is upgrading. But there's one more. We just couldn't afford it. And then, of course, the final defense, which we've got to do, is the new level 10 Mortars. Costing 9 million gold, but I'm not gonna lie, they also look awesome. So let's get ourselves into a live attack. Let's see what these new level heroes can do. Now I'm gonna try something. We're actually gonna make an uh, we're gonna make a, an attack strategy using. We're gonna use dragons. You know what? We don't really use dragons on this channel. In fact, most YouTubers kind of shy away from the air attacks because, to be honest with you, they're just not that great in comparison to ground attacks. So we're gonna go with six dragons. We're gonna go with uh with five baby dragons, two lava hounds. Is that too many? two lava hounds now we'll, we'll use two lava hounds guys should we use two lava hounds i'm really confused let's go with one one lava hound an extra dragon so we still have 20 spaces left we're going to bring five wall breakers and we're going to bring two wizards and two archers so that's going to take us to our max uh, capacity troop spacing we're going to bring two rage spells uh should we bring one freeze no let's go two rage spells two free spells three rage spells and a haste spell for the dragons so that is all of the heroes ready i believe as well the uh the new king the queen and of course the new grand warden let's see if we can find ourselves a decent base by the way i forgot to mention but since we've actually got the new update guys the loot inside of the league that i'm farming in has just gone so horrible i mean i was finding like one million loot bases so often and as soon as the update landed of course it was always going to happen more players flood back to the games you know get all the new update features and the bases just kind of dry up so we've landed on this we're gonna skip that one here we go, here we go, a nice easy Town Hall turn. Obviously, I never really use attack strategies like air, so I'm not really sure how this is going to go. I don't really even know how I'm going to do this, but what we're going to do, we're going to strike from the left-hand side with the heroes first, and then once the heroes get in there, hopefully they can take out the, uh, hopefully they can take out a couple of these buildings. So we're going to wait for those buildings to fall. Then we're going to send the king and the queen in there, do some damage. I completely forgot to set the Grand Warden to air, so we may as well send the Grand Warden in with the king and the queen. We've still got a couple of wall breakers left, but then we're going to drop off some of the baby dragons. You know what? We're going to start this actually uh, a little bit early. Going to drop a baby dragon just over there. Damn, she's going to get hit by the air defense. Is the baby dragon a she or a he? So we just lost the baby dragon so quickly. But there we go. These buildings are about to go down. Now let's send in the heroes. There go the heroes. Going to send in the two wizards as well. 
no, my two wizards died. Pretty, well, one of them died pretty much instantly. That was pretty much a waste. There goes the King's Ability. As long as the Queen can take out the air defense there, I'll be happy if she can take out the air sweeper as well. Come on, Queen. Don't be an idiot now. Do not be an idiot. Do something good for Tony. There goes the Grand Warden's Ability, saving the Queen's Ability for the air defense. Come on, Queen. Pull over. There we go. Now the Queen's Ability has been popped, and we can actually send in some of these troops. So there you go. Two baby dragons. There go the rest of the dragons. There go the other two baby dragons, and of course, that Lava Hound. So let's see if we can make our way into the base, guys. We're going to drop a free spell really early. It's going to drop a haste spell just behind. Still have loads and loads of actual, uh, loads and loads of spells remaining. So here goes another rage spell just in front of these dragons. Hopefully they can take out the town hall and do some great damage to this base. So I'm not sure what is actually uh, better for the dragons, single targets or multi targets. I'm guessing the multi targets are probably better because single target inferno towers are just going to wreck them so quickly. I'm not the best with air attacks guys, I'm not going to lie. And also this isn't an excuse. When I'm filming I just attack so much worse. But we got a 2 star. It's not really worth it though, this dragon army is so damn expensive. So you know what guys, we're just going to allow the dragons to play out the rest of this attack. I will see you very shortly in a couple of hours time for another episode. Have a great day guys, leave a like, sub to the channel, peace out.